Good morning. This is day six of ten days of prayer. Something beautiful, something good. Oh, my confusion, he understood. All I had to offer him was brokenness and strife. But he made something beautiful of my life. 1 Corinthians 12, from verse 4 to 7 states, There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit is the source of them all. There are different kinds of service, but we serve the same Lord. God works in different ways, but it is the same God who does the work in all of us. A spiritual gift is given to each of us, so we can help each other. Testimony. It is the accompaniment of the Holy Spirit of God that prepares workers, both men and women, to become pastors to the flock of God. Those who have faith in the divine attainment, the Holy Spirit will develop. They will be gifted with power to close the message of truth with a sacred beauty. Ellen White Gospel Workers, page 96 and 97. The phone rang in my office in Albany, Oregon. Is this the pastor of the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Yes, I replied. You must come to the hospital at once. We have a patient here who is having severe heart arrhythmias. We are afraid she might die, but she won't let us do anything until the pastor from the Adventist church prays for her. She keeps insisting that if the pastor from the Adventist church prays for her, she will be healed. Please come quickly. While driving to the hospital, I prayed, Lord, I am a little worried about this visit. The lady keeps telling everyone that if the pastor from the Adventist church prayed for her, she will get well. You and I both know that you don't always choose to heal someone. What will those nurses and doctors say if you don't heal this lady? It seems as if the Lord responded by saying, What are you fussing about? I'm worried about your reputation, I said. Now let me get this straight. The Lord seems to say, You are worried about my reputation. Okay, I continued. I realized that the sound pretty silly. But what will the people say? What will the lady say? If you don't heal her, the Lord said to my heart, it is your responsibility to be obedient. It is my responsibility to take care of my reputation. You are right, I said. I will trust you to do what you know is best. At the hospital, I met four nurses outside the patient's room. Are you the Adventist pastor? Hurry up and get in here and pray so we can do something. I already knew from the name the nurse had given me that this patient wasn't a member of my church or another nearby church. I wondered why she insisted on being prayed for by an Adventist pastor. But this was no time to start a conversation. Her heart monitor showed an erratic heartbeat. I knew she was in trouble. I walked to her bedside and took her right hand in mine. She turned slightly, opened her eyes, and asked, 
Are you the Adventist pastor? Yes. If you will pray for me, I know I will be healed. This was no time for a sermon or Bible study on prayer for the sick. I simply asked, Sister, are you willing to let Jesus decide what happens here today? Oh, yes, Pastor. But I know that if you pray for me, I will be healed. So I closed my eyes and asked the Lord in heaven to show his power and mercy for this lady. I asked him to glorify his name before the nurses and doctors in the hospital and that this lady healing might be a witness for many people. I asked the Lord to heal her if it was his will, if it could bring glory to his name, and if it was her best good. I finished my prayer in Jesus' name and said, Amen. Opening my eyes, I look at the heart monitor and it showed a perfect rhythm. The lady grasped my hand with vigor and said, I feel good. I am healed. I knew if the Adventist pastor prayed for me, I would get well. I remember how Jesus handled experiences like this in his life. So I said, sister, your faith has made you well. I gave thanks to God and walked out of the room. The nurse said, May we go in now? I said, Yes, but I don't think she needs you anymore. Their eyes widened considerably and they dashed into the room. I can't tell you what happened after that because I left. I didn't want the nurses or the lady looking to me as though I had healed her. It was the gift of healing bestowed by the Holy Spirit and that lady at that moment. Let us pray. Here I am, Lord, use me in your service. Fill me with your spirit and equip me with your gifts. I want to make a difference for you in this world. I am not content to just sit in church. Give me your spirit power through the gifts you choose for me so that I can defeat the power of sin in this world. Amen.